Good morning, YouTube. Hope everybody's doing well this morning. I'm heading down to our pond to uh, try out our my new kayak. It's a three waters, big fish 103. It's always one of the pedal drive. I had a uh, feel free Moken 10 V2 which was 10 foot, this one here is 10 foot six. But we're just gonna, a little bumpy on this little road. Anyway, we're gonna run down here, put her in the water, and I'm gonna see how stable she is, and see how she paddles. Uh, I'm looking forward uh, to it. Maybe we catch a few fish. I, all I have is my cell phone. I don't have the camera equipment like a lot of y'all have. So it may just be some pictures or whatever, but anyway, I'll get back with you. All right, we're on the water. Man, this thing is smooth. I wish I had a, a good camera that I could do this with. I'm having to hold my cell phone. Yeah, this thing is smooth. The eight ball steering system does very well too. Let's see how it turns. I mean, it don't turn on a dime, but it's got a good turn radius. Let's go back the other way, see how it does. Oh yeah, that's really good, really good. I enjoyed my feel free Moken 10 V2 that I had. It just didn't have a pedal drive. And on windy days, I didn't have an anchor. I would just, uh, I'd have to uh, paddle backwards, forwards, and then stop for a minute. And, didn't have to. Anyway, this here you can just kind of. Man, that stopped it on a dime right there, buddy. There we go. Oh, yeah. I'm going to enjoy this, my man. I should say, my friends. Yeah, I'm going to enjoy this. All right. Let me see what else I can bought this. I bought it, uh, the swivel seat, um, which was, excuse me, which was extra. But, uh, man, I'm, I mean, I could turn. I go all the way around. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is a game changer here. Absolutely, it's a game changer. Yes, absolutely. It's a game changer. All right, my folks. Just got off the water um, with my new kayak. I'm going to turn it around and, and kind of show you a few things. Anyway, like I told you before, this is a uh, Three Waters Kayaks uh, Big Fish 103. Um, on the front here, it has a uh, little rod holder. For your, for your tips, but I've been seeing folks on uh, YouTube that would uh, just put their uh, the real end on there. Um, either way, they don't stay good, but uh, it, it's, it's just something. And I'm going to show you something else I did. Y'all may not like this, but this is the front hatch. Um, this right here, I'm going to cut this down. I just did this yesterday to plug up this hole. This is for uh, your transducer. It has a metal piece that goes on there. Uh, I don't use that. Um, I have one for my fish finder that um, hooks on here. My fish finder and my transducer arm and everything goes right there. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, 
it's dry as a bone in here, doesn't leak. So I'm gonna cut that down and make it uh, smooth. And I'm just gonna use this as storage up front. But uh, you can you can use it, uh, that right there for your transducer if you want to, because it has, like I said, a metal piece that your transducer arm uh, would fit on. And, uh, but I just, I just don't want to use it. That's just not me. <laughs> um, here's my dry, uh, drive. I took it out. Uh, as you can see, my pedal drive. Um, another day I'll, I'll make sure I just, uh, video that when I put it on, but it's got a, it, let me tell you something. Um, it goes forward and backwards. Very good. It stops on a dime. Uh, it takes a minute to start going backwards, but that's all right. Um, as you're going forward and then start pedaling backwards, it does stop. Um, pretty much right there, but it takes just a moment for it to start going back a little bit. I love it because uh, it's a windy day today, and I'm just uh, I'm just excited to to be able to do that without having to uh, fool with my paddle, uh, fool with some type of uh, anchor system, and I can just do it all right there. It's hands free. This is this is the eight ball steering uh, lever here, and um, I got it up, but you can see it going back and forth back there but I love that thing um, it's got a it's got a good uh, storage in the back this is I've got my seat set on the fourth the fourth one back um, I'm five foot eight um, some folks are as tall as is five eight got short legs or uh, the and longer torsos but I guess mine's uh, a little bit longer and because uh, I've seen some go up to the to the second to the second notch right there and um but anyway uh bass watch uh, has a great great review on these if you want to go to his uh, youtube channel uh he said he was five five and uh I'm, listen he done all the stability uh it, it, it's, it's very good and i'm gonna just be honest with you i'm 61 years old and my stability is not like it used to be so um i stood up on it a little bit and fished uh, but i feel more comfortable sitting down it's got the the wonderful seat on it i love that logo big fish on there um but like i said it's got good storage in the back uh, if you wanted to put a battery or something right there it would fit perfectly uh if you've got the crates uh go there i don't have one yet but i will um I don't, I don't really like these this rail system. That's just my opinion. So I ordered me some uh, flatter ones um, because you have to you have to take the ends off right here, and you got to buy a, a, those uh, uh, metal adapters. I had to do that on my feel free, and it slides in there, um, and that's okay. But I, I'm going to put the other ones on there. I bought two eight inches. This is 17 inches uh, on the front, and I think the back was about uh, I want to say 10 10 inches. So I bought two eights and I'm gonna put them uh, here and on the other side. And that way I'll, I'll, uh, I'll have that taken care of. Now this right here is just, um, I wouldn't recommend screwing anything into this even though it's, um, it's, it's pretty thick, but I, I don't know, it just, I just, I wouldn't put it there. I just, I wouldn't wanna mess it up. It just looks so good. Um, I've got the Urban Camo. Um, it's got a little tan in it, white, uh, black. And got just a hair of a uh, little gray accent on it, um, but I'm 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 super excited about it. Um, I did want to show you. Uh, let me go back on this side. <clears throat> I did want to show you the 360 seat. <laughs> let me get on the other side. My so I'm sorry. It has a knob here. If I had to do this from one to ten, one being bad and ten being excellent, um, I would give this to me personally uh, a nine and a half. Like I said, there's just a few things that I, I don't like, but I love it. Um, and if you want want me to give it a 10 to 10, I'll do that. But I'm just telling you my, my honest opinion about it. And the other thing I like about it that makes it a lot stable is that it has a, uh, the cathedral hull on it. And I think that's awesome. Some of them are kind of more flatter. I, I like it though. Like I said, it just, uh, there's a friend came to see us, I guess. Um, I just I like it so if you're in the market for one um, waterways out of old Fort North Carolina go see Jonathan I bought my first one from him when they were in uh, Asheville North Carolina I'm six hours away from them and yes I drove all the way up there twice to get a kayak from them um, they don't have a feel free dealer dealer down this way 
uh, that I could find um, or three uh, waters. Now you can order them and they can send them to you or you can go pick it up. I wanted to go get mine. Um, so anyway, I'm going to leave that right there with y'all and I hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully um, I can get me a little bit of a camera system one of these days and, and do a little bit more better videoing uh, especially the fishing part of it. So anyway, y'all have a great day. Tomorrow's Sunday. Go to church. Uh, I promise you, you'll feel good about it. But anyway, we'll uh, we'll talk with y'all soon. This is Randy, uh, and I appreciate y'all uh, very much. I really do. Thank y'all for watching.